Hey everyone, back again with another Borderlands video. Um, this one isn't going to be usual video. Well, depends what's usual. Um, basically, I just wanted to talk about this character, Zane. When I first heard of Borderlands, I thought, oh, I'm going to choose Zane. But then the game came out and I decided to go with the Siren. Um, and then yesterday, my, my Siren's level 25. So I thought, that's enough of that for now. I'm going to start a new character, see some new action skills and stuff. So I picked Zane. And what I want to talk about is the fact that all of his action skills are great. Like, they're all good. And then all of these little abilities you can, uh, you know, um, level up. They're amazing. Like, it took me, like, five, six minutes just to, you know, actually decide what to put my first skill point on. Because <laughs> all of the first nine you can get, three on each tree, they're all great. Like, he has to be... The most OP character I think I've ever seen in Borderlands, right? <laughs> it's like, look at this, look. You gain increased action skill cooldown, right? And depending on how much shield you have, that's great. So if you up that by 5, I don't know what it's going to be, what, 20-30%, right? And then maximum shield capacity, again, that's good. Improved shield recharge rate and recharge delay, that's great. And look at this, after you kill an enemy, you get increased movement speed. I think out of the out of the nine of them, that's probably the weakest one because not many people really care for movement speed. Well, I don't personally, but and then look at this. Look, the next shot you fire deals cryo damage. You can upgrade that five times. That's amazing. Gun damage is increased while you move. That's amazing. And you've got whenever one of his action skills is active, he gains increased gun damage for each skill. And as you can see, I've got two skills active at the same time. I can put my clone out, which shoots people and distracts them. And I can put the shield out as well. And then I can pick the shield up and walk around with it. And then when you actually shoot through the shield, you do increased damage. So, uh, come on, that's amazing. You can upgrade that five times. And you've got that again. Increased magazine size. Which is great if you've got an LMG or something, you can go, you can shoot for, shoot for days, bullets for days. Again, and this action skill duration for every active action skill. If I put two of them out, I upgrade that five times. My action skills are going to last forever. And that's just the first nine. Like if we quickly have a look at some of the other ones, look at that. That's good. That one, whatever you get shot by, you become resistant to. Health regeneration, the lower your shield is. Again, that's great. You know, and even these little augments on the side. You can make your little robot shoot cryo damage. Who doesn't want to have a robot that shoots, you know, frozen bullets? That's great. Increased reload speed. You kill someone, you get extra reload speed. Everyone loves reload speed. Your sentinel drone drops a free grenade. It's just, like, come on. Every single skill this guy has is incredible. After you kill an enemy, you get lifesteal. So you kill someone, you start draining everyone's health. You know? Look at this. Look, whenever you swap places with your clone, a cryo nova is... I don't know what that means, but it sounds amazing. You're just going to, like, burst and do damage. It's AoE. Whenever you kill an enemy, you and your clone receive increased gun damage and health regeneration. Look at... Your, your, grenade, your, your clone can now throw the same grenades as you. Like, come on. And then when your clone's killed, it drops a grenade. The first shot fired from your gun has a, has a chance to also fire a grenade. Like, and that's only an 8 second cooldown. Like, come on. Like, I think Gearbox has gone a bit crazy and made this character a bit OP. Like, just, I'm, I'm not going to read all of them, but just have a look at these. Like, if you need to pause it, just look. Like, that's, they're crazy. All of these skills are so good. Like, I mean, I love my Siren, don't get me wrong. Amara's fun to play as, right? But, like, I'm kind of annoyed that I didn't pick Zane to start with now like I was going to. We get a chance to ignore bullets. Who doesn't want to be able to dodge bullets like the Matrix? Come on. <laughs> Sorry about that. That was probably really loud. Um, look, bonus shot damage... So, 
look at look at this. It, it, my clone equips my gun, and it gets more, and it does more damage than me. Like these skills are just. This guy is OP. Now I used to think that Axton was OP on Borderlands Two, where you can get like. I, I found a way to glitch it, so I had every action skill unlocked, so I throw two turrets that longbow across the map. They stick to walls, they have shields on them, and they explode like a nuke when you when you throw them. So I thought that was great, but this, this is incredible. Like, these skills are great. Now, yeah, Amar, as I said, Amara's good, and Flak's probably good, and Mose is probably good with her giant mech. But honestly, I think, I think that sooner or later, Gearbox are going to have to nerf some of these abilities, because I really do think he's a bit OP. Like, I can't wait to level this guy, he's only level 4 right now, I can't wait to level him up and see the absolute carnage I can cause. And plus he's Irish, so he also always comes out with some quick-witted humour, and he's quite funny actually, some of the stuff he says randomly when he kills enemies and shit. He's good. So, uh, yeah, just thought I'd let you know if you were thinking about creating uh, Zane. An operative, as he's called, then yeah, I would recommend it. To be fair, I really would. And yeah, as you can see, I've only just started. I'm level four, so I haven't really got anything to show off. But the one thing I will say is, with any character that has two action skills, as you can see, look, you don't you don't get a grenade. Yeah, you can use. I mean, you can unequip your action skills if you didn't know. Like, uh, if you press Y and manage your loadout, you can unequip them. If you press A on it, you unequip it. So now I've got a grenade and one action skill. But, I mean, with this guy, I don't see why you wouldn't have two action skills. Like, honestly, it's, it's so good. I'm just going to ignore that. There you go. Now I've got two again, so my grenade's gone. But I have two action skills. So I can put my shield out, as I said, and my clone. Let's grab this and run away while my clone deals with all the damage. And I do extra bullet damage. Wait. So, oh, I just realised my clone has a health bar in the bottom left. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So, if you were thinking about making an operative, I would really, really recommend it. Because it seems to be quite fun. I'm only level 4 and I'm already enjoying it a lot more than I was enjoying my siren at level 4. So, uh, yeah. I hope this, you know, helped you pick a character. hope you liked it, you know. And, uh, obviously I'm only just properly starting to do videos. So, let me know how I can improve my videos as well. You know, maybe more action gameplay you know how to you know make better videos i guess i'd like your input and again if you want to play borderlands with me just let me know hit me up with a message or in a comment and we can cause some mayhem together uh yeah cheers for watching guys and i will see you in the next one bye bye